There's a satellite that is brighter than almost every star in the night sky. Blue Walker 3 is the first satellite in a planned mega constellation from AST Space Mobile with the goal of increasing access to mobile broadband with the space-based cellular network, which in and of itself is a good goal. The satellite launched in September 2022. The problem is that the satellite is incredibly bright, as discussed in a new study in Nature. Generally, satellites have a mean brightness of between magnitude 4 and 6. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. For comparison, the full moon is negative 12.6, Venus is around a negative 4, Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky that we can see, is negative 1.46, and the stars in Orion's belt have a mean magnitude of 1.77. Basically, anything below 2 is very bright in our night sky. If you want to know more about the night sky, order my book Stargazing. Blue Walker 3 has a peak magnitude of 0.4. There are a few reasons it's so bright. First, not a lot of thought is given to this kind of noise or light pollution in our dark skies when satellites are launched. Second, the satellite has what's called a phased array antenna. It's almost 700 square feet, and guess what? The panels on it are reflective, because of course they are. This basically means that it's a giant mirror in orbit, bouncing all the light it catches back to Earth and outshining pretty much everything around it. As humans are launching more and more satellites into orbit, noise from these satellites is becoming a bigger problem for astronomers. SpaceX has been squarely in the crosshairs of this kind of criticism because of its Starlink satellite constellation. But that's just because there are more Starlink satellites up there than any other kind of satellite. According to astronomer Jonathan McDowell, there are 5,200 Starlink satellites in orbit at the time I'm recording this, of about 8,705 objects total in orbit. AST Space Mobile plans to put around 90 of these satellites into orbit, which is a huge problem. This kind of pollution affects ground-based visible and radio astronomy. And what's worse, it's affecting our space-based telescopes as well. If you want to know more, watch my video on the problem of Starlink satellite trails and Hubble images. Now, the company told Nature they want to work with astronomers to make the satellite less bright, and SpaceX and other companies have made similar promises. But it doesn't change the fact that this is an ongoing problem that's just getting worse, and maybe we should have regulation to mitigate it before we send satellites up there versus dealing with the same issues again and again after the fact.